Okay, so I'm at the place in the process where I upload the individual tracks and I click on the first track. I'm going to go to my folder which I titled Dark Eyed Sailor, which is the name of the primary album where all of the MP3 files should be um, that you've downloaded. So I'm going to go to that folder. It's on the desktop. Bear with me here. Alright, and I'm going to look for the first track which has a zero one by it. I'll make sure all the tracks that you have I will format them so that you'll know what order they're in. You'll have the number right before the title. So what I do to cut down on my level of work and increase my accuracy is to copy the title right here. Control C. Control C like that. And then I'm going to open it so that it adds it right to that track name upload link and I'll put in the actual name of the track there and I'm going to go in and fill the rest of the tracks in in the order they're supposed to be. I will click this add a new track down here if I need more tracks. Um, this particular release has 10 tracks total so I will be adding 10 mp3s and 10 track names. So I'm going to pause and be right back and finish this. Okay I just wanted to show you real quick that uh, Right here I've ran out of tracks, but all I need to do is click add a new track like that. And then I've got new slots because I'm on the uh, track number seven. I'm going to go here and get track number eight. As, I, as I'm copying, I notice there's a weird character right there at the end of Apple. I'm going to uh, ignore that. I'm going to actually take that out right now because we have to have very clean looking track names. Uh, any kind of odd characters. Well, it's not letting me do that. So, uh, let me go back to number eight here. Okay, good. So, I'll just keep going along here. And number nine, I'll be right back in just a second. So, before we go on to the next page, I just wanted to make sure that you understand as you're doing these. Uh, as you're selecting these files and putting them into their perspective spots here on this page, uh, keep an eye out for these characters right here which are bad and take them out as you are uploading. Hopefully I will have already done that, but any, any of these parentheses or brackets or colon, all that uh, at symbol, number symbol, those will actually make it impossible for you to upload the mp3s so just keep an eye out for those. So I've already uh, put all of the 10 tracks into their respective slots and now I'm going to click upload and uh, while this is uploading I'm going to pause and I'll be right back. Okay I'm back. Now we're at the page that says fill out track level meta data and what I need you to do is go through and take out these numbers so that it's just a natural flowing title. In this case, track number one is Dark Eyed Sailor. Uh, you just want to look over the details, make sure everything's in order, check through your entry, make sure there aren't any mistakes or any misspellings. Be very, very detail-oriented. Uh, down here it says track. Um, so this is track one of ten. I know there are ten tracks. If you don't know how many tracks there are, just scroll down here to the bottom and uh, count the number of tracks. As you can see, the number 10 is there, and that's the last track, so there are 10 tracks. So as I go through this, I'm going to go track 1 of 10, and just once again check the information and make sure everything's spelled correctly. And I'm going to take out this here. I'll just keep working through them like this. So I took out the 0, 2, so it just says wild, f wild Wood Flower, and that is track 2 of 10. So I keep working all the way down to the bottom, and then we'll do the next step. Okay, I wanted to make you aware of something that I just found when I was going through the tracks. There's a underscore. We want to take that out of the title, make the title just be a natural, flowing, regular title that works in the English language. And there's a rogue letter that's just sitting here. It says R. Take that out as well. So there you go. That's how you do that. 
Okay, and I've gotten to the bottom of the page. I'm going to look it over one last time to make sure everything looks good. And I'm going to click Save. I think this might be the last step. We'll find out here. Alright. And it's working. <laughs> we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. And the answer is... Again, I can't emphasize how you really need to watch the entries because once it's finalized, there's no going back. Once it's sent off to all the digital partners, there's no going back and changing title, misspellings, and things of the like. So I will pause again and come back when it's done. Okay, final step. You get to this artist and label agreement. You say, yes, I agree. You click finalize upload. And we should be at the end of creating an album on Root Note. And within a few days, it's going to be sent off to all of the digital partners, iTunes, Amazon, Spotify. And, and you will just go back to the, um, the spreadsheet that you're working on and look at the next album title that hasn't been uploaded. So this one, uh, has I just finished the one called The Celtic Angel of Texas. I just finished uploading it, so I'm going to put down the date here, which is 1-11-2012. Done with that one. So the next one on the list is going to be Celtic Music for Relaxation. So I go back over here to the rootnote.com site and click on the Upload tool and start the whole process over again. And you can see here's a list of the song, or not the songs, here, here's a list, listing of the albums that I've already uploaded. So if you, ha if you have any questions, um, you can email me, will at willtaylor.com, or get on Skype and uh, add me as Jazz Viola Will, uh, or just call me at 512-775-2371. But that is the process for uploading albums, and I uh, thank you for helping.